What's going on YouTube? My name is Legendary Lee and today I play Pokemon Violet in 120 frames per second. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an exciting opening today. As you can see in front of me, I have the Arceus V-Star Ultra Premium Collection. It's a big box, not quite as big as the Charizard uh, Ultra Premium Collection. Um, but here are the contents you can see on the back here. Um, 15 packs, a metal card, playmat, all sorts of stuff. I like It's a very sleek and clean box. I believe this is a GameStop exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, very cool box. And another thing that was great about this, um, as I get this here, I'm just ready to open it. Um, I got it for a great deal. So it was around Black Friday. I don't think it was on Black Friday, but around that time, GameStop was having a little promotion where uh, I think you, I don't know if it was in stores only, but I got it in the store. Um, but if you bought this box, it's a $100 box, by the way. Um, you also got a $25 GameStop gift card with it for free. So that's a pretty great deal. Free $25 gift card for buying something that I already wanted to buy. Um, this thing is really cool and premium looking. I, I gotta say, I actually like it, the design of this more. Oh my goodness, look at that. I like this a lot. Oh my gosh, this is way cooler than the Charizard one. And look at the rain, like the, the reflection of the light going through the design there. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Wow. All right. Well, as we get into this here ultra premium collection box, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I do all sorts of Pokemon trading card game content on this channel. Let's see if I can get this to like stay somewhere. Nope, don't think I can. If that's your kind of thing, you're gonna love it here on this channel. I believe these cards here are metal, or maybe there's just one metal. Okay, this is a metal card. You can kind of hear. Me. Oh man, what is on the back? Oh, there's like a dent in the back of it. Look at that right there in the the ball right there. Man, that's okay. My goodness. Oh, they're, they are both metal. Okay. I have actually never held one of the metal cards because I never um, got the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection box. So I didn't even know what it feels like to hold the metal cards. I thought this was a promo. It's actually not. It's just from the Brilliant Stars set, it looks like. Still a very cool. We'll sleeve it up. Wow. Very nice. And this one also is from Brilliant Stars. Really cool. I wish we'd have got like, some new artwork for our promo or something, but... That's still pretty dope. All right, there we go. The, those cards go. We'll set them over here to the side for now. I don't know what else is even in this thing. We've got this little box here. Not sure what's even in it. Looks like we got some dice and some goodies and stuff in here. And a coin. Um, so we got a normal V-Star badge. That's in pretty much every Lee Trainer box. Here is the coin. Very nice. And here are the dice, also metal. Very cool. All right, we'll set those to the side here. That's all for that. Here's a play mat, and we do have 15 booster packs. I'm not really sure what all the packs are, um, but we will get into it. So we got some Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance. Oh, Evolving Skies is in here. How many packs of Evolving Skies? Two Evolving Skies. We're gonna save one Evolving Skies for the very end. Very nice. I'll take some Evolving Skies for sure. All right. 15 packs. Oh, we still had to look at this mat here. Let's look at the mat real quick as well before we get into the card opening. And uh, just a little heads up. the uh, My holiday giveaway that I had going on for the past month or so, I did ship out the cards for that. So if you entered that, um, if you entered into it, you got one. Um, because I was able to uh, make sure everybody that entered got one. So... That was cool. Um, but so be on the lookout. Uh, I, I just shipped all those out about three or four days ago from um, the uploading of this video. So uh, let me know. Let me know what you got. I, there was some bangers in there for sure. There was definitely some bangers in there. I put some some alternate arts in there, some secret rares, um, all sorts of stuff. So let me know what you got. Uh, you can tag me on uh, Instagram or Twitter, both in the description down below at Legendarily. Be really cool to see what you uh, what you guys got. All right, here is the playmat. Very nice. It's a little bit smaller than the one I have on the desk there. So that's interesting. Smaller playmat. 
All right, but let's get into these 15 booster packs. Honestly, pretty good deal on this thing. All right, well, first pack up is a Lost Origin booster pack. Let's see what we can get into with this crazy opening. This is a cool box. I've opened the... Um, I have actually... Oh, shoot. Uh, I haven't uploaded it yet, but I have opened the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. Collection. Gosh, I can't speak. Wow, these feel like... These feel like almost fake cards. They feel terrible. Jeez. What in the world? Like... They're so flimsy. My goodness. The quality has really, really gone downhill on Pokemon here lately. Right, let's go with the Fire Energy here. My goodness, these feel terrible. Anyways, uh, as far as um, the box goes, I've opened this box now and the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection box, and I gotta say, I like this one more. I do. I like the box more. Like, this is just, I mean, it's a hollow, but it isn't even like, I don't know, this is strange. It doesn't even feel like Pokemon cards. That's so weird. All right, interesting. All right, next pack up, Lost Origin again. On our second booster pack here. Let's see what we got. There you go. It, it feels like they legitimately use a different kind of card stock for these. Like, I don't like it. It feels weird. Water? Let's go. All right, we've got a Lady, Silcoon, Lost Vacuum, Machop, Shop It, Sue, Rockruff, Rosalia. Oh, there we go. A Gengar. Man, this thing is like really, I'm telling you, this thing is like super like dull. You might not be able to tell on the screen, but it's like really dull looking. I don't know, that's odd. Maybe it's just the Lost Origin packs. Let's see what, let's see what happens when we get into Astral Radiance here. I'll tell you if there's any difference. But man, it, don't, it doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't feel or look right to me. Who knows though? Who really knows? All right, Astral Radiance up next in today's opening. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, there is your code card. Let's see, these feel better. Oh, they feel the same. Well, maybe I'm just losing it. Fighting energy. Maybe I'm just losing it. Who knows? All right, here we go. You got a Togetic, a Roxanne, Curlia, Poochiana, Swinub, Coolfish, Petalil. Nicket, Miss Magius, and a <laughs> Miss Magius again. Double Miss Magius, am I right? All right, Astral Radiance again. Looks like we got two two packs of a lot of the different packs here. Very interesting. All right, there is your code. I don't like how the codes are in there, weird. One, two, three, four to the front here. Let's go with a Water Energy again. And we've got a Dark Energy. Jubilife Village, Dartrix, Driftblim, Sudwoodo, Combi, Drifloon, Psyduck, Togepi, Teddy Ursa, and a Toga Kiss. Interesting. So this is the first video I've recorded in actually a couple weeks, and it's the first one that I've recorded after playing Pokemon Violet, which is the one that I chose. I'm sure a lot of you chose Scarlet. What are your thoughts on the game? Obviously, um, the... <laughs> performance issues of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are very well known. Um, it was kind of disheartening to experience that, um, and it happened very prevalently. Um, I was very confident in saying that uh, Pokemon Violet in particular, which is pretty much the same as Pokemon Scarlet, ooh, there we go, I have that card as well, um, is the worst Pokemon game I've ever played. Absolutely the worst Pokemon game I've ever played. The worst experience. Um, but here's the thing. Here's the thing about it. Although it is the absolute worst Pokemon game I've ever played, my least favorite that I've... And I played them all. I played every single one. Um, at, at least, like, I didn't play black and white. You know what I mean? I played, like, black and I played white. Um, um, but the thing is, even though I... It is the worst Pokemon game... Ga oh, God. Worst Pokemon game ever made to me. I still had a, uh, an enjoyable time with it. You know, there were part I, I got into it in parts, and then um, towards the end, I was I was really struggling to find the motivation to even finish it. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, it's tough to see. I think I might just be more of a fan of the classic style of Pokemon, not the whole open world aspect. Um, I know that sounds dumb, but I really think that might be it. I think that's what it is for me, like that classic Pokemon formula. 
um, of going around the map in a certain order. You know, you have your 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 free reign to go wherever, in a sense. Um, but I don't know. I just I don't know. It was odd. You know, on top of that, the uh, the <laughs> the performance issues, which did give us some pretty hilarious clips on on Twitter and Instagram and whatnot. I will say that. Um, but yeah, that, um, uh, the other thing that I really was really disappointed in is the custom, the character customization. They did a really good job of, uh, of being able to, uh, expand on the customization of the individual actual human character with the different eye designs and hair and all that stuff. But it's like a huge step back by making you conform to four different clothes options in your school uniform. That was the dumbest thing they could ever do. Absolute dumb. Like, you could change your accessories. But I remember playing Sword and Shield, and it was that was, like, a big part of the game. It was fun seeing, like, all the new, like, options I can get clothes-wise. Um, that really, like, brought it down a, a notch for me, for sure. And I was like, man, I, we can only customize our glasses and, like, our backpack and our shoes. Like, I don't know. Something about that definitely rubbed me the wrong way as well. Um... But that's all. That's a minor thing, you know. It's it's more about the the Pokemon, and and honestly, the Pokemon designs themselves. The new actual Pokemon, I liked. I liked them, you know. Tinkaton is is a, an amazing Pokemon. I love Tinkaton. Tinkaton was on my team for my playthrough. Tinkaton is a really cool Pokemon. Cerule Edge was really cool. Um, Scovillain, the the fire and grass type Pepper Pokemon. I love the designs of this generation. They're really cool generation. Pokemon but the game the gameplay and all that with it it just it was rough it was rough for sure but I did I still did uh have an enjoyable time with it so that is my spiel on the game that nobody asked for but there you go there's my opinion <laughs> on the game I have because since we haven't really talked about it since the game came out on this channel anyways um you know plenty of people have I did however find my first ever full odds shiny Pokemon in any Pokemon game ever, and I've been playing Pokemon for, uh, what in the world? Oh, this is, something's not right here. Is there not an energy? There's not an energy in this. Because I slid, <laughs> hold on, this is, hmm, yeah, I felt this card, and I was like, that's not an energy card. So, uh, Palkia V-Star, very nice. Very nice. Uh, yeah, so I found a, um, full odds shiny Q-Fant. So that was cool. Didn't use it, <laughs> but I got, I got one. Uh, all right, let's get back into these packs here. We got an Astral Radiance coming up next. It looks like there are, in fact, more than two of each set in here based off of what we're opening here. Oh, uh, there is your code card. One, two, three, four to the front here. Let's go with a Lightning Energy. And it's water. Okay. We've got a shield on. Wait and see, hair dryer, that's essentially what that is. Curlia, Scyther, Barboach, Mischievous, Sneasel, Routes, Barboach again. Hey, what in the world? What is going on with this? Okay, see, that's definitely an error pack as well. So here's the reverse, and then there's a rare and an ultra rare in this pack. They've got some, some, some stuff going on for sure, man. They've got some stuff going on for sure. Interesting. All right, Brilliant Stars is up next. Four packs left in today's Pokemon card opening. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Whatever day of the week it might be that you're partaking in this watching experience. All right, let's gosh, let me guess. One, two, three, four to the front here. Let's go with a Dark Energy. And it's grass. We've got a Choice Belt, Vibrava, Staravia, Duskull, Farfetched, Execute, Grimer. Sneasel, double turbo energy, and the rare is a cling clang. All right, next up is a brilliant star. We have not really gotten anything in this, we have not really gotten much in this. I will say, not much. All right, we got a brilliant stars here. There's your code. Uh, one, two, three, four to the front here. Let's go with a water energy on this one. We got a fighting energy. Okay, Monferno, Bear Tick. Fracture, Golet, Cast Form, Chimchar, Ball Toy, XU, and Ice Q. And there we go. We got a good hit there. That is a Kingler. 
V-Max with a big old beard and mustache. Very nice. That's another thing, too. The terrestrialization, you know how there's always a gimmick in every Pokemon generation, which I haven't liked any of them since Mega Evolution, to be honest. Um, don't care for the terrestrializing. That's just an extra feature that doesn't need to be there. But anyways, we're at the Triple P, the penultimate Pokemon pack, and it is Vivid Voltage today. Vivid Voltage. All right, here we go. Here is your code card on that bad boy. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's go with a Fire Energy, and it is Psychic. All right, we've got a Galvantula, Go Goat, Winden Stadium, Whooper, Didene, Picky Peck, Choodle, Riolu, Ferrothorn, and an Ampharos V is the Ultra Rare. All right, guys, here it is. Evolving Skies, our last pack of today's Pokemon card opening. Can we end with a bang? Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess not. <laughs> you know what? We don't even need to go through this. Is a, it's not going to be anything in there. All right, it's a smear goal. Um, well, that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like rating down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like I said before. Until next time, stay legendary.